I will I will start making the introductions. Um, sorry if it would sound like a management presentation at the beginning, but at this point uh, I'm in the role of the let's say manager of the community at UPB, and I'm struggling keeping people here or bringing new people working at virtualization stuff for uh, for BSD. Okay, um, so uh, we have a community for uh, of BSD at is basically how we call it. Uh, at this point, um, my, myself, Mihai Karabash, Alexander Elisei, who left university and now he's working with ARM directly as a software engineer, which is a great thing. Uh, he tried many times to ask for them for time to work on Beehive ARM on their time, but at this point he didn't obtain that time. But he's allowed to work on his free time on patches. Uh, Arm doesn't impose him any any license issue or so. And after that, Darius and I and Sergio. This is the core team currently at UPB. Uh, so we have been working at various VSD projects since 2011. Myself started with Dragonfly VSD at that point with one colleague of mine. I was working at the virtualization staff for their V kernels. A colleague of mine was working on something about memory. Uh, the second year, I moved on. Unfortunately, on Dragonfly BSD, didn't have the community, didn't have the users that needed that, and I moved to FreeBSD, where I met uh, Peter Graham and Leonardo, and I started working at different futures. Over the years, um, I worked on mostly on Beehive on myself. And at some point in time, someone came and proposed us to work at Service Store Future. Over the years, we have more than 10 students that have worked at different modules at x86, Service Store, Live Migration, at Beehive Arm, also, and so on. Uh, last year, we organized EuroBSDCon. So, all the people uh, I presented were involved in the organization of the conference. Uh, without, them, I, without them, I couldn't manage to. to to successfully finish this conference. And also we created the GitHub repo where we have all our work, or all, all our branches. Uh, myself, I'm a, at, currently I'm an assistant prof professor at UPB. I'm, I will become an associate professor soon. In the last year, I didn't code, I didn't create any code. Actually, I did, I did only review and management. Uh, we have Alexander Lisey, who is a former student. At this point, he is working at ARM. Um, at various projects on BSD and Linux there. For example, he's trying right now to build FreeBSD ARM on Linux. Uh, and also, I, I tried to engage also the foundation to talk to the ARM guys and, uh, and grab him one day from, from the five days to work on at Beehive ARM, but until this point, they didn't manage to do so. So now he's working on his free time on Beehive Arm. Uh, we have Darius, uh, Mihail, and Mihailescu. Both of them are second year master students. And I hope to keep them. So they are thinking at PhD. And if they will remain in the university, maybe they will be involved in different ways in the BSD uh, community. And we have uh, Sergio Weiss, which is a first year uh, master student. And I also uh, want to keep him at PhD if he wants, but he has more time to consider. Um, right now, I put uh, all of this couldn't be possible without a minimum sponsorship. Okay, what we uh, what we decided to present you today? So we have a beehive on ARM and ARM64. Here we work me and Alex some, and a little Darius. Uh, we have the service stores for snapshot future. Uh, Darius will represent you the. The, the logic of the safety store snapshot or snapshot that he has done. And we have the guest live migration, and then I will present you uh, the steps we have engaged in order to achieve this. And in the in final, a QCAL 2 implementation from Beehive. It resembles to, to my presentation, let's say, because he was inspired by, by the QCAL support, QCAL 2 support from the VMM module. Okay. Um, Okay, Beehive on ARM. Beehive was, was originally written for x86 and does not provide a generic interface for all the 
architectures. Uh, in order to be able to uh, create a new architecture for ARM, we have uh, to split the machine dependent and independent code from Beehive. And for this, Alex created a review, and this is still pending. Uh, if you want to look at this and see what is pending and if you have any power to move it forward, or tomorrow in the FreeBSD um, Dev Summit, maybe you will bring the discussion up. Okay. Uh, Beehive on ARM is essentially stalled because uh, the patches are uncommittable without the machine dependent independent support here. And also, it is a very slow feedback on patch review. I still have a review open for one year, for example, uh, on ARM, on some specific parts. On ARM, as I, as I knew, only an internal did reviews and he helped me at some point, but no, no one else. Look here, for example, I have one here that, that is waiting for me, but I don't know what is waiting for me because I gave all the approvals. Then I, I have two more here at time of virtualization and at uh, GIC virtualization bits. Both of them are open reviews, they are small, small patches, and nobody helped me bring those in. And this adding virtualization support for RV7, it's stalled because of the M MDMI, uh, MDMI uh, support. Uh, at HIBSD Core, I will present the technical implementation of the interruption timers. This was the last part that I did, and I didn't present it at any BSD conference. But again, it's uncommittable until we get that part with MDMI. Also, Alex LSA helped me to find some remain, the remaining bus here and also optimize the workflow from ARM64. Arm uh, he will present the GICV3 at HIBSDCon. He couldn't make it here at BeehiveCon. He just arrived, he texted me and he just arrived on uh, Narita and he won't be able to make it in time. So, if you want to see about the GV3, Please follow his presentation at HIBSD.com. Uh, right now, I would want to invite Darius to start presenting Service Store. After that, Elena to continue with live migration, and in the end, Sergio.